Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Amit Kumar here and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you something different. In this video, I will be specifically showing you how to get a free domain name, free hosting space and then I will show you how to create your blog using that registered domain name and your hosting space. So I think that is clear to you. So let's get started. Let's see how to get an absolutely free of cost domain name and you can get that from freenom.com so let's write freenom.com and navigate to this website here you go now you can see that here we have a search box to find our domain name so type your desired domain name and check for its availability so i'm going to write freelance demo make sure your domain name is not matching to mine okay and then click on check availability okay here we go you can see that i have few different options for my domain name and you can choose any one of them i am going to choose this one here freelance demo.tk and if you scroll down you can see that you have paid options for freelance demo.com freelance demo.net etc so i want my free domain so i will choose this one okay so let's click on this get it now okay now check out by clicking on this checkout button now here we go now let's choose the time period here let's say i want for 12 months and it's free okay now let's go ahead and click on this continue button all right so here now we have to enter your email address so let's go ahead and enter your email address i am going to write my email address here click on this verify my email address button now this is verification link sent to your email address so go back to your email address here's my verification link click on this link here now you can see that you can review and check out from here this page let's enter your details here i'm going to go ahead and add my details quickly go ahead and add your details too on this page okay Let's write my name, Amit Kumar. Let's add my company like this. Let me add my address here. Let me add my zip code, uh, then city. and choose state reason let's go ahead and do that then add my phone number and then enter my password here And then click on this checkbox i have read and agree to the terms and conditions so now click on this complete order so your order confirmation number is this one now go back to your account click on this uh, let's click on this services go to my domain here you can find that your domain is uh, registered with freelance demo.tk okay now it's time to get your hosting space so let's see how to register for a free hosting space let's click close this uh, tab from here open a new tab Let's search for hosting a 
click on this hostinger.in now click on this unlimited hosting you wanna see three pricing columns I am going to order this free one which provides 2 GB of disk space 100 GB of bandwidth and we can build three websites 50 scripts etc you can read everything by scrolling down okay and just click on this order now you can see that we have a checkout page so now click on this checkout button and again the price is zero rupees so let's check out now you have to register on this website too to do that just go ahead and click on this create new account again enter your name enter your email address and choose your password let's create your account now that's it now you have to click on this uh, agree checkbox and click on complete order that's it now you have got your free hosting space of 2 GB okay so you will get an email in your inbox check out your email and verify your uh, hostinger account by clicking on that uh, button this is me okay and your receipt number is this and if you want to print it you can print it for your future reference for me I'm going to navigate to my dashboard okay now they are saying action required set up your orders so now just go ahead and click on this green button set up now you have to enter your domain name that you have registered so let's see what was your domain name this was freelancing freelance demo dot tk copy this domain from here go ahead and paste it here freelance demo dot tk now choose the server region where your data will be stored let's for me it is europe click on that radio button now choose your password that you have entered in this starting when you was creating your account so I am going to enter my password here so okay that's it now click on this setup button again something wrong let me enter my password again okay let's click on setup again now click on this new hosting here now you can see that the status of your domain name is active means you have got 2 GB of hosting account for this freelance demo dot tk domain name so now it's time to manage your website so let's do that first of all from here I want to change the name servers of my domain provider to the name server of my hosting company so to do that I'm going to click on this manage okay and you can see that a message here they are saying that your domain is not pointing to our name server at the moment so to do that I just want to go to details tab and click on here and you can find all the name servers from here just copy all of them one by one and go to your freenom account and click on this manage domain go to management tools click on this name servers now you can see that here two types of options first one is use default name servers and second one is use custom name servers now you have to enter the name servers that your 
uh, hosting provider is giving you so here you can see that all of them just copy all of them one by one and paste them in here text fields so ns1 let's go ahead and paste all of them here and change their numbers to one like this uh, three four so now we have enter all of them now just click on this change name servers but before that i want to show you something let's go ahead and navigate to your newly registered domain name what was that that was free freelance demo dot tk at this time it will show nothing you cannot see anything and this is an error saying this site can't be reached but as soon as you go ahead and click on this change name servers within few minutes when you refresh this page uh, freelance demo dot tk you gonna see your hosting providers page so let me refresh it now it will take few minutes so go ahead and click on here freelance demo dot tk and see if you get any message from here they are still saying your domain is not pointing to our name servers and please mind that dns might take up 24 hours to propagate when the change is submitted sometime it may not take that much of time okay so i think now it should be reflected no nope, it's still not showing up let me see whether i'm entering my proper domain it was freelance demo dot tk let's reopen it now you can see that your domain is pointing to your hosting provider space okay so now your account has been created and now you can see that you have emails uh, here which says hosting activated okay so you have activated your hosting successfully so friends now you have seen how we have registered our free um, domain name and free hosting space now it's time to install a wordpress website on our free hosting site so let's go to dashboard and hit refresh first of all hit refresh or click on this freelance demo dot tk to see whether this message goes away okay that's gone now it's time to install our website so go to dashboard go ahead and find auto installer this one here click on this and from here i want to search wordpress and i want to in install wordpress 4.7 okay so click on this okay that's it now you have to enter your administrator username i'm going to write freelance demo and then i want to enter my password here so okay now let's go ahead and enter the website title let's enter the tagline and click on this install button okay that's it make sure you have typed your password correctly and please remember that password so that you can log in to your wordpress admin okay so install it right here right here uh, now it says installation request has been submitted successfully please refresh this page in few minutes moment sorry 
so guys now it's time to go ahead and refresh this page freelance demo dot tk and you will not see this page now you will see instead a wordpress site let's go ahead and refresh so guys now you can see that you got a website here and that's it you can see that your website name and the tagline that you entered while installing your wordpress site now you can start writing your blog post i will show you where to do that and you can change this theme too so let's see how to do that i am going to navigate to freelance demo dot tk forward space wp admin okay enter your administrator username that you have entered while installing your wordpress site using auto installer uh, that was freelance demo for me and let me enter my password hmm. okay for me i'm going to check on this remember me because i'm using it on my own computer so let me hit login so now we have logged into our admin panel okay here you can change the theme of your website and you can visit your site by going to freelance demo title and clicking on this visit site and you can see that your site is up and running now let's go ahead and change the theme for your website i'm going to go, uh, go ahead and navigate to this appearance then going to themes like this now here i can see three different themes 2015 2016 and 2017 that is the latest one so you can choose any of them or you can add your new themes by clicking to this add new themes you can now add paid themes or free themes so i am going to choose a free theme from here okay and you can filter your theme based on your requirement by going to this feature filter and for example i can choose grid layout one column to let me choose this one left sidebar and with two columns and let's select any features you would like to have i'm going to choose on this wordpress education blog let's apply few filters and click on this apply filters and based on my filters i'm seeing this theme here so let me preview this theme so after installing this theme uh, my website would look something like this Hmm. for me it's pretty amazing i'm going to install it by clicking on this install button that was so simple now go back to your admin panel by clicking on this cross button or click on this activate button to activate your theme now your theme is activated now go ahead and refresh your website by hitting refresh or pressing enter in the address bar now you can see that your website look has been changed so this is how you can install your wordpress site and to write your posts just go ahead and go to posts here you can see that we have already a new post hello world now go ahead and create another post by going to add uh, post add new and let's provide a title for your post freelance demo let's write some dummy text here i'm going to write some lorem ipsum text so let's navigate to bacon ipsum give me beckons ah, copy some dummy text from here go to your post write this post you can add any media if you would like to add 
there's no media here you can upload your files here or you can insert any URL if you want to add photos etc okay so I'm not going to do that I'm just simply going to publish this post you can save as a draft or preview this post how it will look on your website I'm just simply going to publish it now go ahead and refresh your website now you can see that your post has been displayed and the author is admin so that's how simple it is so guys hope you like this video and if you like this video tutorial please hit like to this video and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching this video bye bye take care